Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to speak about uh, things which sometimes we forget why we started in the beginning. And so, every day when I wake up and before I go to sleep, I seem to be forgetting why I am doing the things that I do. Um, for example, um, why do I study the Korean language? So in the beginning, um, when I started learning the Korean language, it was only because of being able to stay in Korea because Filipinos are not allowed to stay in Korea for more than three months unless they have a proper visa. The, the only possible way for Filipinos back then was to stay like for 30 or 60 or 90 days as a tourist, having a tourist visa. So for me to be able to stay in Korea, I had to have a student visa. And I have chosen to study the Korean language until I decided to take another course or another study program. So, um, even though I wasn't prioritizing the Korean language, it made me continue to learn the Korean language because I had to go to school every day for four or five hours even though I didn't feel like going to school sometimes I had to because of the attendance and because uh, I have paid tuition fees and it is my responsibility as a student so whether I like to learn the Korean language or not, I had to go to school. And this made me actually learn the Korean language. But these days, I have no reason to go to school. As an intermediate language learner, um, I don't really have to go to school because I can read, I can um, write and I can speak and I can listen to Korean language um, on my own independently and there is no need for me to be assisted by a teacher I'm not in Korea anymore then I am not forced to learn the Korean language now it is hard to continue learning the Korean language or any language if it is not actually your priority. And so the problem is how do we continue to learn the Korean the language on our own? Now going back to why I started learning the Korean language before, my reason was to stay in Korea longer than three months so these days i wonder what is the reason why i have to study the korean language um, most filipinos actually know how to speak the the english language uh, like myself and we didn't really learn the the english language it wasn't really difficult for us to learn the english language because in the Philippines, we are half immersed with the English language at school, at home, and everywhere. And English is also called an official language in the Philippines, which means that most of the legal terms or transactions and information are in the English language. So it is more of acquiring the language than learning the language. This means that for me, Korean language is the first language I have ever learned in my life. And I hope it's not going to be the last language, but because it is the only 
foreign language that I have learned in my life and I am able to to use it every now and then. I am grateful that I am not a beginner language learner anymore with Korean language. I always think that it is such a waste of time, effort and money if I am not going to continue uh, learning the Korean language until I become fluent uh, like a native Korean speaker. My goal is not actually to be as fluent as a Korean native speaker, but if I become one, then um, it, is, um, it is a dream fulfilled. What I want is to express deeply what I really want to say and understand at least 90% of everything I hear and confidently believe and think and say that I have understood everything I've heard from any um, authentic materials uh, that I am confronted with like news, Korean news or books or any conversation from native sp Korean native speakers and uh, and so on. My reason for me to be able to continue learning the Korean language is because it is my first foreign language that I have learned in my life and it is such a waste if I don't continue learning the Korean language when I am actually able to learn the language on my own. There was a time in my life that I actually uh, literally and intentionally uh, stopped learning the Korean language because of the life events that happened between personal relationships, uh, cultural differences and the lack of environment and time to learn the Korean language. So I literally and intentionally stopped the Korean language, learning the Korean language. That period was very long actually. There is a saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that really happened. And so I think whether there will be any good benefit for me to learn the Korean language, to be able to speak uh, fluently in the Korean language or not, for me it is a personal development and I want to focus on what makes me feel satisfied. So if learning the Korean language continuously is the only way for me to feel satisfied, then I am going to continue learning the language. The point of this video is that as language learners, we always have to remember or we always have to have at least one reason why we are learning the language and if we have just one proper reason why we are doing it then we are able to maintain or continue what we are doing so that's it for today thank you for listening to my video i hope you continue learning the korean language or any language you are learning at the moment so that's it thank you bye